last filmed a planner video and that's pretty much because I wasn't doing anything different or exciting than before. Um, kind of the same old thing in my file pack still and loving the A5 um, ankle press inserts. Um, but as the year went on and I was doing the same old thing, I kind of felt like I needed to mix it up. I was getting a little bored, kind of feeling like I was in a planner rut. And I have been wanting to try for so long the Shop Bando planner. Um, and the reason that I hadn't was because it was spiral bound. So I think, you know, I, it was last month. I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. My planner's job right now. I feel like I'm just, oh, I just wasn't feeling it. And it occurred to me that I could uncoil the Shop Bando planner and make A5 inserts out of it. Um, I was kind of scared to do it because I'm a little OCD and I didn't want to spend $27 on a planner and uncoil it and cut it down and hole punch it and get it in there and just have it like not look right, just like be cut off in weird ways. I was nervous, but then I was like, you know, what if it works? What if it's really cool? So I decided to do it and I am so happy with the results, you guys. Um, as an OCD person, it's really not even that noticeable, the areas that are cut down um, along the perforated edges. Um, it looks so good. So I'm going to take you guys inside my planner so you can see what it looks like, so you can see if uncoiling the 2016-2017 medium-sized Shop Bando planner is for you. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so here we are inside the planner. I'm going to quickly go over how I did this. Um, but there are tons of videos on YouTube that really break down uncoiling um, spiral bound planners and they will show you step by step. So I'll link some of those below. But I really, I just, un I loosened the coils, um, used a paper cutter and I cut like small sections um, at a time right along the perforated edges as close as I could get. And then I used old inserts to mark where to hole punch. Um, Again, there are also lots of videos um, that really show you the new Shop Bando planner, so I'm not going to get in detail about what the planner itself looks like. I can link some videos like to that below. Um, but this is like the first page once you take off the cover. It's this little um, folder, and it I just hole punched it, and it works perfectly well as a folder now, so I'm really excited. I am going to make a dashboard for the planner, but I haven't done that yet. I kind of like opening up to this folder. so folder, that page works out perfectly, no issues, front page, no issues with cutting it down. Um, if I can get focus in here a little bit, we'll see. Um, these are sticker pages, I can't really focus. No issue cutting off the stickers. All the stickers are perfectly perfect on this page. Perfectly perfect. <laughs> the only sticker that gets a little messed up is this date night sticker and there's just tiny little marks like on the sides. Um, so that's the only one that's like a casualty to the uncoiling process. Um, no issues here, no issues from the uncoiling here. I'm kind of just taking it through so you guys can see like where you, if you were to uncoil, uncoil your planner, um, if it would leave little areas, like cut off words. Isn't that everyone's fear with uncoiling that's going to cut things off? Um, so, so far we're doing great. These guys, I, there's none of the um, monthly pages that are affected by the uncoiling and the cutting process. And then the only area that is affected by the uncoiling and chopping process is the monthly view. Um, obviously because the perforated edges, like it would have been along here and it wouldn't have holes in these monthly pages. That being said, for me, it hasn't been an issue yet. Um, I don't, don't write a ton in my monthly pages, period, but there's still so much extra area where I can washi and write on these pages that it doesn't affect it. Also, like some people like to, I know, and I do it too, washi like long dates. So normally you would have the washi burst right here. All you do is you just take a whole punch. You can still washi along the whole thing if you just take it out of the, the rings, washi the whole thing, and then hole punch that area. So it looks like it's part of the, there's no, it looks like it's part of the washi and there's no weird, you know, you don't have to start the washi tape on this side. <laughs> that was long-winded, you guys. But basically, the monthly views are the only pages that are really affected by this. And it's minimal, in my opinion. Um, uh, so to the weekly view, these are the notes pages. And the weekly view. The weekly view is also not affected by the holes. So because the Shop Bandeau Planner is so, like, 
open. It really doesn't have a lot of like, like the Inkwell Press has those lines on the side. The Shop Bandeau is just like a big white page, so there's a ton of extra space. So even though you are cutting into the days a little bit with the holes, you have so much extra space that it doesn't really make a difference. Um, you're, yeah, and so you got all these guys still. Nothing is affected to that extent. So really, you guys, this worked out so well. I'm so happy with it. Um, I'm still kind of figuring out how I like to plan in it. I haven't really found like a style that I love yet, but I've been having a lot of fun. I've been using the stickers. Uh, let's see this current week. This is like kind of, I don't know, sloppy. I don't know what I was thinking. Moons for October, you guys. I don't know. Um, but this week I just used one particular sticker set in the thing and I used that. So I've been loving it, you guys. It's still new to me. Obviously it's only been a month in, but as far as like what it's like when you uncoil your planner and cut it down, it really doesn't affect the planner a ton. And so it's just like having A5 inserts and that's what I'm trying to express to you guys that it worked out really well. The only thing that I don't love about this planner is the paper quality. It really makes me miss the Inkwell Press paper quality, but what can you do? So just this for now, you guys. Also something to note that I really love about this planner is that it's thin, probably because the paper quality isn't as good. Like when I close my binder, it just feels so light. I haven't put a lot of extra stuff in there and my planner feels so refreshed and just, just light, which I love. And I took my cover from my planner and I didn't very, didn't do a great job of this, but I um, kind of cut out the holes along here. So I took out some pages there, just so can go on the back because I liked it. And also it provides like a nice like hard surface which protects the last pages of your planner. But also if you're like planning on the go, you could just take this out of your planner and use it as a writing surface. So I didn't want to get rid of it because I liked it. It kind of just blends in on the back behind the planner and it provides like a very sturdy element because these file faxes are bendy. So this just like adds a sturdiness and I really like that. So this is what it looks like you guys when you uncoil your planner through and through. You know, it just it just worked out really well you guys. So just to kind of give you a few more minutes. It just worked out really well. So yeah, that's that. Sorry if the camera is shaky. I'm trying a new way to hold it. I don't know if it's better necessarily. But yeah, so that's that. All right, you guys, that was my video. I hope it was helpful for you and informative if this is something that you are thinking about doing yourself. Um, again, there are tons of helpful YouTube videos that really break down the uncoiling process online and I'll link some of them below. Um, this was more just to like show you guys the results if it's something you're thinking about doing, what it would look like in your planner. Um, I'm so happy with it. It's really great for me. I think that I will switch back to the Inkwell Press in the coming year. I already have my inserts. Um, but this is just an awesome planner refresh. I felt like I needed to mix it up. Um, we're kind of heading into those winter months and it's just fun and exciting. And I think it is important to kind of like change up your planner style every once in a while. Um, I mean, important, whatever. It was helpful to me. I am enjoying it. So <laughs> isn't that what planning's about? Um, if you guys liked this video, please comment and subscribe below and like and all that, you know, stuff. Um, let me know if you want me to make more videos, whatnot. It's been so long, but I can try to be better about it. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.